Hello, hello, welcome back to the channel, to all my awesome subscribers, and if you're new, hello, welcome. My name is Jessica. Today I'm gonna be sharing a Shein spring haul with you all. I've got some fun, very on-trend pieces that I found from Shein for such great prices, and I am so excited to share them with you, so we're gonna get right into it. As always, everything that I am going to share with you will be linked down in the description box in the order that it appears, so if you're interested in shopping any of this, you can pop down there for the links, the sizes that I got, all of that jazz. Let's jump right into the haul. First up, this knit dress that is so freaking cute and perfect for summer. I feel like this outfit would just make a really fun festival look. I know like Coachella is past us, but I know there's there's fun musical, there's fun music uh, festivals all summer long. So I will definitely be keeping this in mind for any that may pop up around LA that I attend. But I also think this is just such a cute dress for like summer vacation or just when you wanna go out and feel cute. So it comes in a bunch of different colors, but I went for this sort of like burnt orangey color, which I think is really, really pretty and just kind of unique. This color I think looks really good with like tans and golds and like turquoises. So there's a lot of really fun like styling opportunities with this color in my opinion. Um, I got this in a size medium, which is my typical Shein size. And in fact, I believe everything that I'm going to share today, I will be wearing a size medium because that's usually the size that I do take in Shein. And the thing I love about this is it's got all these cutouts going on. So of course you've got like, it looks like it's knotted in the middle and then it's cut out in the sides and in the back and it's a halter style dress. So this ties up behind the neck. It is great because you can wear a strapless bra underneath this dress if you need to. So I definitely do need to. And, um, it's, it covers enough so that you can wear a strapless bra, which is great for all of my ladies out there that need that. I also really like the length. It's kind of almost a maxi dress almost. Like it's somewhere between like a maxi and a midi on me and I am 5'7 for reference. So if you are shorter, this might hit you a little bit longer. Um, and if you're taller, might be more of a midi on you, but it's got a lot of stretch. So even though it is kind of like a straight column style, um, and it goes all the way to the ankles, I still feel like I can take a good stride in it and not feel like I have to take like little <laughs> itty bitty steps, if that makes sense. But such a fun dress for summertime. Styled it with these brand new uh, sandals that I just got from Seychelles, which is one of my favorite uh, shoe brands. And these are so comfortable. I got them in the gold metallic color, but they come in some other colors as well. I know I'm gonna be wearing these like all summer long. They're really comfortable and the leather on them feels like butter. And it's such a pretty like soft muted metallic gold. It's not like in your face, like crazy gold, if you know what I'm talking about. And then of course I thought that my very Colt Gaia inspired clutch would look so good with this color. This was a recent Amazon find and I just think it's such a fun statement bag for like when you're going out at night or out to an event rather than just taking like a normal like shoulder bag or tote style bag, having like a fun sort of statement conversation piece is always a great way to go. It really elevates your outfit and just makes it pop even more. So next up, this bodysuit. I am obsessed with this. First of all, I love that it looks kind of like a corset top, but it's not a corset. It's just basically a mesh, very comfortable, very stretchy bodysuit. And it is just, it's really sexy. So I just am always on the lookout for fun tops that I can wear when I go out at night or just to wear for more like special or dressed up occasions that aren't like basic and boring. And this top definitely fit the bill. First of all, it's got all this like shimmer in the fabric up top here. If you can kind of see that on camera, I'm not really quite sure, but I love that it has this like faux corset boning and it is a bodysuit and it is a thong for those of you who care. I personally cannot stand uh, wearing a bodysuit if it's not a thong. So bonus there, but the open back, which the back is just open. So it's just like plain mesh and I have gotten so many compliments on this top. Um, I styled it in a previous, I believe Amazon video with some cargo pants that I got from Amazon. So I'll show that outfit first. Um, and there are gonna be a lot of cargo pants in this haul, FYI, just warning you ahead of time. But I think that the juxtaposition of this like very sexy, like going out top with something very utilitarian like cargo pants is such a cool little combination. And especially when you pair it with heels, you can really dress up a very casual piece like cargo pants with something that's a little bit sexier um, as far as this top goes. I also have worn it um, with the next item that I'm going to talk about in this haul, which is a faux leather skirt. And I love how this whole outfit looks together. I really normally shy away from wearing chocolate brown just because, you know, I'm a color person. So I, I feel like the brown also like it just goes, it matches like my hair. 
and sometimes I feel like it's just a lot of just like brown when I wear brown but um, it's growing on me I kind of like it especially when you have like the contrast of the mesh which is a little bit lighter it shows a little bit of skin so it kind of breaks up the color a bit if that makes sense but this top is just it's so cute you do have to be a little bit aware if you have a larger chest like there's gonna be a little under boob cleavage there but eh, a little under boob never hurt nobody in my opinion faux leather skirt that I'm wearing this is just such a chic piece and I feel like it it's really well made and I'm impressed with the quality of it for Shein so it's really nice and high-waisted it's got this nice like uh, almost like belt like aspect to the waist that kind of like cinches you in there and then it's a little like slightly pleated and sort of goes out sort of like a pencil skirt style but of course you've got the slit that goes up the front to show a little bit of leg and the faux leather honestly feels so good it feels like butter honestly I'm very impressed with the quality of this faux leather skirt um, because sometimes with faux leather stuff at Shein it can go either way but this is definitely a good find as far as that goes wearing this outfit with another one another new pair of Seychelles shoes that I just got these are so cute I love the sort of like art deco detailing in them and please don't look at my feet too much I need a pedicure so so bad I should have gotten one before I filmed this video but I didn't have time so don't judge me but I just really love the sort of like gold and silver combination that's going on in these because it allows you to sort of like mix your metals in the outfit that you wear with it um, which I think is really nice but it also gives the shoe an overall like sort of muted metallic tone which is very on trend if you didn't know metallics are huge right now I also love that it's got the nice little ankle strap and a, a lower block heel so they're like really comfortable to wear they're not super high so I, I could wear these for like long periods of time all right we all know I love me a statement piece and when I saw this top on not Shein, but I saw, I think I saw a similar top like this on H&M or somewhere, but it was sold out already. And I was like, oh, why do I always miss out the cute things before they sell out on H&M? So I was browsing on Shein and I thought, you know, sometimes when I see things on retailers like Zara or H&M, things like that, and they make something really cute that sells out fast, sometimes Shein has a version. So I usually go in the search bar and I type, um, you know, like the descriptive, descriptive words that would describe the thing that I'm trying to find. So in this case, I think I, I typed in like floral lace up crop top or something like that. And lo and behold, wouldn't you know, they had a version of it. So I snapped it up. It comes in black. It also comes in white, but I thought the black would be, you know, a little bit more fun. Although I'm really tempted to get the white one too, just because I love it. But I just love the big like floral appliques on things. Floral 3D appliques are a huge trend right now. Um, like floral appliques being on clothing or we'll see in a little bit um on like choker necklaces i am here for it i am a girly girl at heart so i just love all things like that but this top is super fun so i i want to say i did get this in a large just because i knew the back laces up so i knew that i could adjust the si like sizing of it how i needed it to be but i figured with a large it would have just slightly more like length from the top of it to the bottom of it which would equate to more coverage for the girls for me. And I think that was a great choice. Um, so I think sizing up if you have a larger chest is a great idea just to make sure you have enough fabric covering for your girls. And again, because it's a corset back, you can just tie it as tight as you need to for your comfort level. It also has adjustable spaghetti straps, so you can adjust those so that they sit on your shoulders and they don't fall off. But overall, this is such a cute piece and I am so excited to wear this all summer long I also think this would be really cute worn over like a long white shirt dress um, as like a fun styling option for this like you don't have to just wear it as like a crop top and just you know have your stomach out it could look really cute paired over things as well to layer so there's a lot of possibilities going on here I love this little outfit that I styled I you know you can't go wrong with a black white and red or pops of red outfit and this skirt unfortunately is super old but I'll try to link some similar styles so that you could get this look if you really wanted to but it's pretty fabulous so I think we all know by now there is really nothing quite as classic or wardrobe staple as a little black dress and I am always on the hunt for just a really good classic like slip dress style in black and so I saw this dress on Shein thought I would give it a go I picked up another like similar style black slip dress from Shein a couple hauls ago I want to say and it wasn't it's not really my favorite just the cut of it I don't think now that I've had it for a while and tried to wear it to a couple events I just didn't love the way that it looked on me but I saw this and I thought maybe this would be the key because this version is still a slip dress but it has a bit more of like an a-line skirt this nice cowl neck that is very soft and feminine um, with 
adjustable spaghetti straps and then you have like a long midi length skirt that flows away in a slight a-line shape with a slit that goes up the left side i think this dress is definitely an improvement on the other one that i bought i don't know if it necessarily is that like perfect fit dress for me i did get it in a medium and i feel like it does have a little bit of room in it so my inclination is to say that this dress might run a little bit big and you might consider sizing down because as you can see i have quite a bit of room in like the waist and torso area where i feel like it would look better if it was a little bit more fitted to the body there um so i may have to return this for a small um but otherwise i think it is a really beautiful dress of course it's really classic because it's in black i think it just makes it look a lot more expensive than it is there is this is one sort of tip that i would say when shopping on places like shein um as much as i love color sometimes when you purchase pieces in like more neutral colors it sort of can hide any design flaws or um you know just different design flaws that the garment may have um when it's in like a darker neutral color rather than when it's like in a bright pink or a bright orange or you know you get the point so um i think it is a pretty dress but i just wish it fit a little bit more so maybe think about sizing down a size wanted to talk about this little accessory that i'm wearing because it's also from shein i know i just discussed how much 3d floral appliques are such a huge thing right now and one way that you can do that super easily without buying like a piece of clothing that has floral appliques on it um, is to just get a choker that has a silk flower on it i love this trend so much i want to say this was like definitely a little bit more of a trend in the mid 2000s maybe because i definitely remember wearing things like this and loving it so i am here for it i'm so glad that it's back I, it just it's so much fun this one is obviously like really big you can see it goes like all the way up to basically the bottom of my jawline so this is a big statement if it's too big for you they have so many different styles of this same necklace on shein i also got one that is a little smaller and it is white so you can see that that's a bit more of like a manageable style and size than the black one so there's all kinds of different ones this one also has like a nice little black velvet choker um as does this one uh it's just a little bit thinner which i think is a nice contrast to how big the flower is so definitely a fun trend you can get it in so many different colors sizes shapes styles shein has a ton and they're only like a couple dollars so it's a really affordable way to sort of add on like a really fun trend to your outfit without having to really invest in a piece that's you know that you might not wear um, a couple years from now but these will always be a little fun bit of flavor that you can add to your look next up we have another very on-trend piece this denim midi skirt it's really really similar to another denim midi skirt that i recently shared in my most recent amazon haul if you're interested in watching that after this i'll put that up in the cards and in the description box for you if you want to watch it um, but this one is basically the same style of skirt but it's more of like an acid light wash, which I think I like better than the Amazon one because the Amazon one was like a dark solid wash denim. And I think this style just looks better when it has like a more <clears throat> casual aspect to it. The dark denim just to me is just too dark. And I also don't really gravitate towards like really dark denim anyway. Um, the only thing about this version is the Amazon one was really stretchy. This one is not. And I got my normal size six and I would say it's a little bit borderline. So I'm kind of like hippie. I definitely have a booty. So the buttons in that area are definitely on the the tighter side but it definitely still works if it had a little bit more stretch in the fabric then it would be better but i i still really like it i think it's a fun take on this trend and i love that the buttons go all the way down so you can button all the buttons all the way down if you really want to create like a pencil skirt look or you can leave them mostly all unbuttoned like i'm doing here to show a leg um, and just kind of be able to show a little bit of skin and break up the look because for me personally to button them all the way down just creates too much of like a a block of denim and I think that's why I really like this style of denim midi skirt to sort of satisfy that denim midi or maxi skirt trend because a lot of the ones I've been seeing are just straight denim skirt it's just full-on denim there's no slit there's nothing and it's just to me like just a lot of denim on your body so at least with this way when you have a leg that shows it kind of breaks it up doesn't make it look as blocky if that makes any sense so Love this look. Styled it with this little crop top, which I recently just got from Target, which I think is so cute. And I love this because it's literally like a bra top. It has an underwire. It feels like supportive and it actually fits. Like I have a larger chest, as I know I've said like many times, but the, the cup size for this actually works for me, which is so rare in like affordable clothing when they make things that have like a sort of in, built in cup. So 
love it comes in some other colors i'll of course link this down in the description box um with this denim midi skirt so you can shop the whole look if you want next up a couple pairs of cargo pants i told you there's gonna be a lot of cargo pants in this haul uh so i got two different pairs because i'm really trying to find a good pair of like baggy cargo pants that look good on me and it's proving to be a little bit of a struggle. So this first pair I got, I bought in a size medium, which again is my true size that I normally get at Shein. Um, and I, I think overall these are really cute. The length of them is absolutely perfect for my height. Like they literally hit right at the tops of my feet, which is great. Um, but they're a little snug in like the booty and the thigh area. So they're not really giving the wide leg loose look that I'm going for. And they're also like kind of gapping in my waist. It's a common problem that I have. I feel like because I have sort of a curvier lower half, it makes it kind of hard to find pants that really fit wide leg from like all the way down the leg. So this is definitely one example of that. Now I don't think they look terrible, but I just, I want them to look a little bit more baggy and it's not accomplishing it. But I do think the pockets are really cute. I think they're placed in uh, a way that is um, more flattering. Although like I will say overall, cargo pants, especially wide leg ones, are not really gonna make you look like svelte and lean so i i guess i need to get past that mindset because that's usually something that i'm looking for when i'm creating an outfit like i'm trying to make myself look as lean and tall as i can um and cargo pants just kind of go against all that so it's just something that you have to sort of embrace if you want to wear this trend and i know it's definitely not for everybody i'm just trying to like figure out if i can make it work for me and it has been just difficult i would love to know what you all's thoughts are about cargo pants down in the description box i mean are you into them are you uh, getting yourself a pair. I think the pair that I got from Amazon, um, again, I'm referencing that last haul that I did for them, um, is the winner for me because of the way that they fit. Um, they're a little bit baggy, but they're not so baggy that it looks crazy. Um, but yeah, these, I just think I might have to send back because they're not really fitting in the way that I'm looking for them to fit. Well, this second pair of cargo pants, I got in a size large. And I... I think I probably could have gotten these in a medium because I think these really might have fit me much better in a medium. They might be more of like that true wide leg style, but I have a couple of complaints about these. So first of all, the waistband is elastic. I hate an elastic waistband. I think it makes a pair of pants look kind of cheaper or like, I don't know, I feel like I associate elastic waistbands with like children's clothing. So when I see like a waistband that's like elastic all the way around, it really is not not my favorite if it's only in the back that's one thing but like in the front too it just I don't know so obviously it has a lot of stretch because it's elastic but it just kind of looks a little slouchy and like overall the pants themselves I, I think they're so baggy that they make me look frumpy so I'm really not sure what the happy medium is here and maybe this trend is just not for me because I just tend to look at this on my body and think wow I look a little bit frumpier I also have really been trying to find the wide leg baggy cargo pants that have sort of the drawstring on the bottom of the pants to sort of cinch them in um because i kind of like that style but i haven't been able to find a pair like that on shein i've seen a couple pairs which i will link if you're interested one on abercrombie and one at zara i want to say um but they're just a little bit more pricey than i want to spend on something that's a very trend item in my opinion so don't really love these either i have not satisfied my wide leg cargo pants uh, search. It continues. Well, that concludes today's haul. Thank you so much for checking out today's video. And if you're not already subscribed, why don't you go ahead and hit that red subscribe button for more fun, affordable fashion, lifestyle, and travel videos that come out at least twice a week. Uh, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. It really does help my videos get discovered by new people, help me to grow and do even more fun, awesome things here. Uh, while you're here, you might want to check out my latest Amazon haul, the one that I've been talking about this whole video. There's some really fun, affordable finds there if you want to check it out, and a great pair of cargo pants that I actually like. So I'll see you over there, and if not, I'll see you on the next one. Bye.